There's so much fear out there. It's really driving the purchase of precious metals. There's a lot of truth in the descent from true money, true constitutional silver, all the way down to hyperinflation currency, and then every man for himself. We are almost to 280,000 subscribers on the channel. We need 20,000 more for a really superb giveaway. Yeah, we'll see if we can get there. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And uh, if we get to that 300,000, it's gonna be insane, huh? It's gonna be special. I'll, I'll tell you more later, but I gotta see a little more action on those subscriptions. Buy your gold and silver online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold or silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. I walked in, you were on the phone, and it sounded like there was a gentleman selling his gold because he wanted to buy more silver, is that right? It is, and I actually gently tried to talk him out of it because he just recently bought two ounces of gold. And then what happened is he saw something on TV, I don't know what, but it influenced him that he shouldn't have bought gold, that he should have bought silver. And he said, I would like to trade the gold for silver rounds, which we're happy to do for people. It's just that he has held the gold just a couple of weeks. And inevitably, when that happens, you're gonna lose money because there's premiums on the purchase of gold and silver. So I, I would caution people before you make a decision, be comfortable with it and be willing to stick with it for a while because to make trades on precious metals within just a few weeks of, you know, buying it and then wanting to sell it is a really, really bad move and you're almost always going to lose. The only time you wouldn't lose is if gold had skyrocketed in this case. But if gold skyrocketed, so would silver have, and therefore you'll pay more for the silver. So a short-term hold is just a bad idea. You know, there's a lot of information out there, some of it good and some of it you gotta be cautious, but don't make a good decision and then let my videos or anybody else's make you change your mind so soon after making an investment because you're inevitably gonna lose. Yeah, with the metals, because it's a physical object, it's not trading paper, stocks, or whatever. There is the premiums, like you said, so it should really be a long-term play, and I think you should know what you want before you buy anything. Maybe do some research before you make your first initial purchase, yeah? Yeah, short-term holds, whether it's a day or a couple of weeks, is almost always gonna cost you. Well, if someone wanted to come in and buy today, I did notice the case here is looking super thin. I mean, usually this bottom row is full of rounds. We do have some eagles here on the second row, but then here on the top row, no government ounces. I mean, are people just buying silver like crazy or they what? They are, and it surprises me because the prices are higher than they've been for a while and it hasn't stopped anyone, and, and that includes gold especially. There's so much fear out there. It's really driving the purchase of precious metals. While people are selling a lot at the high prices, specifically in gold, they're buying the heck out of silver. Yeah, I wanna get all of your guys' opinion on this. So when someone buys precious metals, you know, bullion, it's like they're afraid of something, right? The mm -hmm. dollar or the economy or what have you. What are people afraid of right now, Richard? I'd say the biggest one is they uh, look at their money in the bank and it's not making very much interest. And then if they do have high interest, the government's like, oh, well, we're going to tax that interest. And people are like, well, you know what? That money's not doing me anything good in the bank. I'll put it into silver. And because they've seen, you know, silver's gone up a couple of times over the decades and it's protected their money a lot better than just leaving it in the bank. So worried about not performing well in the bank? Yeah, I think that would be the uh, the biggest motivator. And if you look at what we're low on too, I'd say our customers are uh, smarter than the average bear at our shop. They're buying cheap. They're trying to get the most silver for their buck. They're getting rounds and government ounces. We're selling a lot of eagles too. I mean, shoot, last Friday or Saturday, we almost had two monster boxes worth, but now we're down to less than half of one for the, the Silver Eagle. So we've sold that much in just a matter of a few days. Well, let's get your take on it, Adrian. What are people worried about right now? Well, I, I think, you know, with the price movement that we've seen in silver and gold, it's not so much that silver and gold have gone up. I think it's that the dollar's purchasing power has gone down. People are trying to go into different assets to protect their money, real assets. And, you know, like Richard was saying, you know, banks are not offering that much of an interest rate and the little that they are, you know, they're getting taxed on. So people are looking for other places and especially silver with it being close to that half point of its all time high. 
people see a lot of upside to it. So I, I definitely see a lot of people moving into those, um, you know, silver and gold investments. So worried about the dollar? A hundred percent. Yeah, I'm, I'm worried about the dollar and you make a good point. It's not that gold and silver necessarily move up or down. I mean, they're an element. They just sit there in the case. They don't do anything. Correct. It's the dollar that's moving down which is pushing the metals higher. Correct, and you know, you look at everything else, everything else, the, you know, the price has gone up on, you know, houses, vehicles, you know, your day-to-day -day groceries, you know, and say there's no inflation, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Can I share something with you along the lines of what we've been talking about? A customer brought this in to me, and he's a very brilliant electrical engineer and also quite the amateur economist. It really speaks to the fears that we're talking about here. He calls this poster the descent. So it starts out with true silver dollars, the kind that circulated right up to the mid 60s. And then right below it is a silver certificate. The silver certificate was historically backed with silver. While it's still legal tender, if you happen to run into one, it's not backed by anything anymore. And then we get to what we have in our wallets today, and that's just a Federal Reserve note with the green seal backed again by nothing but the faith and promise of the, the US government. And then descending even further into uh, chaos is that $10 trillion note from Zimbabwe, which is quite the collectible now, but underscores the problem with fiat currency, maybe in an exaggerated way. And then lastly, the, the thing that, that we're descending into possibly are bullets. And I, I hope not for sure, but we go from real money, constitutional silver through the fiat currency all the way down to bullets. I just thought this was a very interesting poster. And we're right here, in we're, between we're here. America and Zimbabwe. Yeah, and, and I, you know, it's interesting. I hear a lot of comments in the shop. People will come in with cash and they'll say, ah, this is worthless. I want to get some precious metals with it. Well, it's not worthless because you're able to get precious metals with it. So I understand the sentiment, but don't scoff at cash because having cash gives you the option to do all kinds of fun things like make an investment in precious metals or just pay off your debt. But nonetheless, there's a lot of truth in the descent from true money, true constitutional silver, all the way down to hyperinflation currency and then every man for himself with the bullets. <laughs> but I just thought this kind of underscored what Richard and Adrian were talking about. Yeah, this would be a good thing to put up in the shop. Yeah, I have a hunch in the comments section, people are going to want to order these, and I don't have them available. This was a gift from a customer, but you could certainly make your own. It wouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. That's a cool poster, Harry. It is cool, and it, it's kind of scary because of the truth in it. Yeah. I just hope we don't descend any further south in that descent down to the bullets. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if you get past that, it's all over, right? It's over. Six feet under. Well, uh, I actually didn't ask you, but I am curious. The guy who was buying silver mm -hmm. that we mentioned earlier in the video, the guy who was calling in, what silver was he looking for? Was it anything in particular? Well, it, again, to, to the point Richard and Adrian were making, it was buffalo rounds, which are the most silver for your money and also the most popular round out there. So in the sense that it was wise by buying buffalo rounds, yes, because they're inexpensive and they're very, very popular, very liquid, but still a bad move right after buying gold, in my opinion. He should have just bought the buffalo rounds to begin with. Yeah, I mean, we all make mistakes. I get it. And he's a nice man and uh, very polite. And I, I'm happy to help him, but I did try to gently warn him that you're going to lose money. So if someone were to buy for the first time right now, is that what you'd recommend getting rounds? Absolutely, which is why we're out of them because, you know, we try to tell people when they don't know what to get, get the most for your money. I always tell people buy with an eye towards selling it so that when you go to sell it, you're not stuck with some weird thing that nobody wants or doesn't want at a good price. Buffalo rounds are very safe. Canadian maples are very, very safe. So are silver eagles, but if we're talking about the most silver for your money, the buffalo rounds can't be beat. So kind of have an exit strategy before you even get in. Yeah, just if you're buying a house and it's got a weird layout because of two additions that made no sense, you might want to pass on it because someday you might want to move and the next person's going to think it's just as weird as you do. That's true. That's a good yeah. way to put it. Yeah. Like We've all seen that house. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah, we have seen that house. <laughs> what about the constitutional silver, though? I mean, it's pretty affordable. You can get a lot of bang for your buck. 
We've got the dimes, quarters. You still have some half dollars, yeah. although all the Benjamin Franklin's sold since the last video. <laughs> So people bought that up, but uh, is this a good buy right now? It's a real good buy. It's it's priced right at or a hair under what the uh, what the rounds are going for, and so we sell a lot of Constitutional. It's still a favorite here among our customers, and I think the three of us. It's one of my favorites. A good portion of my stack is in this stuff. In case I ever need to barter in the future, this is going to be the best. Yeah, and oftentimes I've steered people with a mind towards barter away from say ten ounce gold eagles because even though it's a tenth ounce and it's small like a dime it's still a big chunk of money at over three hundred dollars each now if you truly want to barter and you want money for small increments the dimes and quarters and even half dollars are way better than fractional gold well speaking of gold let's take a quick look at the gold here it seems like uh you only have full ounces no fractionals yeah, those sold we've got three eagles and you know i just like to make a comment it's not very self-serving but you notice there's one Krugerrand and three Eagles in there. Mm -hmm. I can just about guarantee you that at the end of today, there'll be no gold Eagles unless we buy some, and the Krugerrand will still be sitting there. As the price has gone up to these record highs that we're looking at, the vast majority of people only want U.S. gold. That would either be Eagles or Buffaloes. They're not buying Maples. They're not buying Krugerrands. They're not buying Kangaroos or Philharmonics. I'm having to wholesale those when we buy them. Every single time, people just don't want anything but a U.S. And I think maybe there's a perception that because the price is so high, I'm gonna get what I perceive as the very best mm. since I'm spending so much money. And I get that. You know, the other coins are full ounces of gold and frankly carry a premium of about $15 less than the U.S. gold here in our shop. But nonetheless, I just about can't give them away. Is that what you guys have seen as well, Adrian? I mean, like the Eagles, when it comes to gold, are just number one right now? Yeah, I mean, when people walk in and they're asking for gold, they're asking for the American Gold Eagle. And is it mostly a one ounce, or are they getting fractional, or what do they want? Um, I would say the majority ask for the one ounce because, you know, they get a you know a le lesser premium when they go for the full ounce rather than the uh, fractional. Yeah, I guess if you're spending that much money, you want to get something nice. You want to get something you're going to like. Definitely. And I mean, the Buffaloes, those things, I mean, they, I think they sell better than the Eagles too. The um, one ounce uh, gold American Buffaloes. So I mean, between those two coins, if we have a gold Buffalo in the case, it will not make it to the end of the day. Wow. It's probably the color of it, huh? Oh, it's, I mean, it's pure gold. So yeah. it, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. I love the Buffaloes. So it kind of seems like they want the silver Buffalo rounds and the gold Buffalo coins, huh? In it comes down to again bang for your buck on the silver but for the gold when the price difference isn't much you're still spending over twenty seven hundred dollars for an eagle or a krugerian maple or a bar people are like you know what it's worth this slight bit more premium to get what i want it almost seems like they're buying the gold because they want to just hold on to it but the silver they're thinking maybe if silver does something crazy I can sell it down the road and buy gold or do something else with it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we get a lot of people in here too asking about like uh, the gold to silver ratio and they're like, oh, you know, if uh, it gets better, I could trade some of my silver for gold or if it gets worse, I could trade some of my gold for more silver. That could work, you just gotta keep an eye on it. Yeah, you gotta wait a while. I mean, that's the whole thing is like that guy bought the gold and then he kind of sold it too quick. He didn't <laughs> wait at all. No. and. Actually, if I may ask a question of the audience, I really would like some input here regarding silver rounds. You know, the Buffalo Gold and the Buffalo Rounds have the exact same design on it, which is an absolute classic from the old Buffalo Nickel. And I'm always thinking I'd like to carry a little more variety than I do. I always try to have Buffalo Rounds, and sometimes I'll augment the inventory with Aztec Rounds or Year of the Dragon Rounds. But is there a second choice or even a first choice among the audience of style of rounds that you would like to see? Because I struggle with this. There's, there's myriads of designs, but a lot of them are just not very popular. I know there's, there's rounds that feature the Peace Dollar design. There's rounds that feature the Morgan Dollar. Even some of the Incuse Gold designs are available in one ounce rounds. I'm just curious, besides Buffaloes, what do people like? Because I, I, I do read the comments and I, I'd like to get a consensus of, 
or what I should be carrying in addition to buffalo rounds. Well, yeah, everyone watching, you've got your homework. Let us know yeah. down below in the comments section uh, what is your favorite or second favorite silver round design. Thank you. Yes. There you go. All right. Well, hey, I really appreciate the time, Harry. Thank you, Silver Dragons. Thank you so much. Good to see you, Richard. Good to see you, Adrian. Good to see you too. Thank you.